Hi, my name is Justin Cyrus and welcome to How to Make a Space Truck. Over the course of this series, we're gonna take you from start to finish on how to build your very own space truck, land it on the lunar surface, and operate it to help build out the future infrastructure of space. Here at Lunar Outpost, we create mobility for extreme environments, including the lunar surface. This mobility and these robotic systems are critical to establishing and scaling large-scale infrastructure on other planetary bodies, including habitats, communication towers, power, roads, launch and landing pads, and much, much more. True to our namesake, we're starting off with the lunar surface by providing rovers that are heading to the moon in a couple months and larger rovers that are gonna help set up large-scale infrastructure here in the next few years. Each time we send a rover up to the lunar surface, we're gonna learn from it. So during Lunar Voyage 1, this is a fairly simple robotic system, mobility system, that is connected to the Intuita Machines Nova Sea Lander through Nokia's 4G LTE network. And that offers us high bandwidth communications to the lander. As we start working our way out to Lunar Voyage 2, Lunar Voyage 3, Lunar Voyage 4, and then uh, the Lunar Terrain Vehicle, we start utilizing direct communications back to Earth. In addition, we're gonna be iterating on the autonomy and the artificial intelligence that's available on these robotic systems. You start off in Lunar Voyage 1 with a system that's mostly teleoperated and also has a little bit of waypoint driving. Very similar to the old Mars Perseverance rovers, pick a point on the Martian surface, they can figure out how to get there. Our rovers are a step beyond that. You can give them a whole mission profile and these mobility systems, these robotic systems, will figure out how to perform the mission at hand. And that is gonna be a critically important differentiator that's gonna be a critically important step that we need to take to have a truly sustainable presence out in space. Let's take you into Lunar Voyage 1 through 4, which are our first four missions that are heading to the lunar surface. Now, Lunar Voyage 1 is launching later this year on a SpaceX Falcon 9 and landing on an Intuitive Machines Nova C-Class lander. It's gonna be the first rover at the Lunar South Pole, the first cellular network on the lunar surface, first collection and sale of space resources in human history, and the first American robotic rover ever on the lunar surface. So we're extraordinarily excited about this mission because it's a full end-to-end -end commercial mission. Lunar Outpost is partnering with Nokia to bring their high bandwidth 4G LTE network communication services to the moon. We're taking MIT with the resource camera and their Astroant alongside some other really exciting commercial customers. However, Lunar Voyage 2 is much more of a scientific mission. We're going to explore Reiner Gamma. This is a magnetic anomaly on the surface of the moon that's been puzzling scientists for hundreds of years. This is a critical mission for us as humanity to understand how the moon was formed, how our solar system was formed, how resources are distributed on the surface of the moon. So in collaboration with Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory and NASA, we're gonna go investigate this magnetic anomaly and figure out how and why it was formed. As we start moving on to Lunar Voyage 3, that is a fully commercial mission as well that's heading to the Lunar South Pole. And then Lunar Voyage 4 is part of an international competition called Trailblazer held by the Australian Space Agency to figure out what's going on at the surface of the moon, how we process resources, and how we scale production of resources on other planetary bodies. Thanks for joining us for this introduction to the series. Please go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel to follow along on how to make a space truck. See you next time.